Good morning, everyone. I hope that you enjoyed the book reading of the mitten that Mrs. Frack did. Um, so of course we have a project to go along with the book. So if you remember in the book, we had a white mitten, okay? And what happened with the mitten? The mitten got lost, right, in the snow. Um, but a whole bunch of animals found the mitten and climbed inside and found a nice warm place to be on a cold winter's day. So we're going to do a mitten project and we're gonna put all of our animals inside the mitten that we make. So your mom and dad um, got an email with all of the links to print out this mitten. So you'll need this one and this one. Okay, and then they also got um, a printout of this. So this is all of your animals. So what I want you to do is I want you to color your animals, okay? And then once you color your animals, you can cut them out so you can use your little scissors and you can also cut out your mittens. So here's the Clover. Hi, Clover. Hi. And she is taking her time coloring in all of the animals. While Clover's coloring all of her animals in, she's really taking her time and trying to stay in the lines. And it looks like so far we have a pink bunny. Yeah. All right, so while she's doing that, I cut out the mittens. So we have this one and then we have this one because we need a front and a back to our mitten. Okay, so what I'm gonna do next is I'm gonna put my mittens together and you're gonna need mom and dad to help you with this part. Um, so they can put the mittens together and what we're gonna do is we're gonna take oops, a, oh my gosh, I can't hold on to it, a hole punch, okay? And we're gonna punch holes along like the border of the mitten. So I'll do a few so you can see what I mean. Let me show you what I did. Clover is looking, she's really concerned as what I'm doing. All right, so this is what I did. So I'm gonna do, um, I'm gonna do that all the way around the mitten, all the way down to here, and then all the way down to here. So we wanna leave um, the bottom open with no hole punches in it. If you don't have a hole puncher at home, that is fine. What you can do is just use a glue stick and glue around, you know, glue, glue around the edge, just make sure that you don't glue the bottom. Um, or you could use Elmer's glue, and then, or even tape. You could totally take tape and do this, okay? And just put it around the edge like that. Just all we're doing is we're making a pocket. The next thing that we're gonna do is we're gonna get our string ready because we're gonna, we're going to weave um, this string through the holes that we punched in our mitten. So what I do to make it easier for the kids is I have, so right here I have a long piece of, of yarn, but you can use anything. You could use a shoelace, um, anything that you have at home that might be a string. And I take a piece of tape, okay? And then we're gonna tape it around the top here. Um, so what this does is it kind of, it makes it just a little bit easier for the kids to weave because it gives them something a little bit more sturdy to put through the holes. Okay, so I got all of my holes punched. So this is what it's gonna look like. So you have your front and your back. And actually what I'm gonna do, because we want this to be a fun project and not stressful <laughs> for the kids, I'm gonna take a, another piece of tape. So I already put one right here to hold it, but I'm gonna put one over, whoops, on this side also. And what that'll do is it'll just kind of help hold everything into place um, while they are weaving Mama. yarn through. Hey, Mom. All right, Clover is done coloring her animals, so we have a a rainbow of animals here and she is going to work on cutting them out so um, you know how to use your scissors so this is good time to practice I'm gonna cut out one and then Clover is going to cut out the rest okay. there we go all right 
Now I'm gonna hand the scissors over to Clover and she's gonna show us how it's done. All right, now that we have all of our animals cut out, we are gonna work on sewing together our mitten. So right here, I just tied our yarn to the bottom and we're going to go like this. You're gonna put through one hole and we're gonna pull it all the way through. Okay, and then you're gonna go through the other side and you'll put it in here. And you'll go all the way through. Now I'm gonna let my friend Clover work on this and you can work on yours too. All right, so Clover did a good job weaving the mitten. So now Hi. if you look at the bottom and we just put our, we just tried to stick our hands in and it worked, right? Felt like a mitten. Um, so you can open the bottom up, look. Clover, wave to everybody. Oh. All right, so I'm gonna cut the extra string off here and then we're gonna put our animals inside. So just like the book, okay, the first animal to go in was the mole. All right, so in he goes, there he goes. Okay, next was the snowshoe rabbit. Can you put that one in? All right, and then next we have the hedgehog. There he goes, right on in. And owl. an owl, and he joined the party. Mm -hmm. Oh man, our, uh, our mitten's filling up. It's getting bigger and bigger, just like in the story. All right, and then we have the badger. Okay, there goes the badger. And the fox, is he going in? Is there still room in there? We're running out of room, look at. We're running out of room, okay? And then we have the bear. So the bear is gonna go in. Okay, there he goes. Okay. All right. And last but not least in the story, the mouse goes in and the mouse actually doesn't go in. He sits right on the bear's nose. And then what happens next? The whiskers from the mouse tickled the bear's nose and the bear says, ah-choo! And the mitten goes flying into the air. And then his friends scattered all over the place and everybody fell out of the gigantic mitten. I hope that you enjoyed their craft for today. And I hope that you enjoyed the story as well. Send us all your pictures of your, your beautiful mittens that you make.